Hey guys, Spider here for Destiny. We got the King's Fall raid, and uh, we have some parkour sections that we have to get through. So we open up the court, we got to the first chest, then we have these swinging... I don't know, what do you call them? These big, massive things swinging on chains, and uh, we're, we gotta jump across from one side to the other. Uh, best to wait, you know, I mean, take your time. It's not that bad. I died, I think, once the first time doing it. Mainly because I was trying to do it too quickly and uh, while they were moving, but uh, pretty easy. We do have a, a couple more parkour sections, uh, little puzzle sections to go, and then we'll be back into battling things. I mean, there are a few enemies here and there, but uh, nothing real major. Okay, so this next section is a little more difficult. Uh, basically, we're parkouring on the top of these Hive dropships. Okay, this is the first one. They follow a very specific sequence. So we're gonna run through it here, and uh, we basically, there, there's one platform sort of in the middle, so we jump on three or four ships, we jump on this platform, we jump on three or four more ships, and then we make it on the other side. So the second ship that we're gonna jump on spawns to our right and below us. Uh, if you stay on these ships too long, they will despawn and you'll just drop into the abyss, okay? You're gonna die. Uh, the third ship is this one that's coming underneath to our left. We're gonna jump onto that bad boy, and then we're gonna look for the next one. So you gotta be a little bit patient. There's the next one right there. Uh, bottom left, and I think we're getting close to the platform. Yes, that's the platform we want to jump on. You want to wait a little bit on this ship until we get close to the platform. I've got my triple jump on for my hunter. If you're running Gunslinger or if you're running uh, your Night Stalker, then uh, make sure you have your triple jump on. Okay, so we I think that was the same ship we just jumped off of. Anyways, we jump back onto that ship, and then we're going to go to the very back. And that's the ship right there we want to jump on, I think. Is it? No, it's not. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. There it is. It's in front of us. So we want to jump on this one in front of us. All right. We're doing well. We're doing well. I think we only have like two more ships. Now, there's... Where is it? Where is it? There's one ship that's basically going to push you off to the middle. This one right here. So you don't want to jump on this one, but it's going to push you to the back half of the ship that you're on. You can duck. And now this one you want to jump up on. Okay. This one's kind of difficult. Gotta make sure you jump up as high as possible, and I missed it. Yes, so we're gonna come back to that one. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're gonna make it this time. There we go, there we go. It was actually not too bad of a jump, now that we're actually prepared for it. Okay, then there's one more ship we gotta jump on. It's gonna spawn right in front of us, right there. And this one should bring us fairly close, fairly close. Maybe there's one more. There might be one more, yes, I think there's one more. There's another one up there. Okay, so we're going to jump up on this guy. There we go. I just made that jump. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're just waiting. That's where we got to get to, basically. Up there. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's going to spawn in front of us. So look in the direction that you are traveling. Looking around. Looking around. <laughs> where is it? Where's the next ship? This one's going to despawn. There it despawns. Okay. So you don't have a lot of time. Uh, once you find this last ship, there you go, and then we're on to the other side. So we're just gonna hold off until we get to the platform. And jump, guys! Okay, so, you know, not too bad. Once you know the progression of the ships, uh, it took us a little bit, but really fairly easy so far uh, for this raid. And we're gonna do a little dance, the sprinkler. Yeah, baby, the sprinkler, I love it. Okay, so one last little section before we get into the good stuff, all right? So we have another ship that we have to jump on and get past. Uh, this is a little different. We have two platforms on this side, and there's a shield right in the middle. So that ship is going to travel through that shield onto the other side. So you need two players on this side to stand on the platforms. I think there are only two platforms. Uh, yeah, I think there are two. Okay, so two platforms. So two players. Uh, the remaining players can jump on the ship and travel through as long as those two players are, are remaining on the pad and that shield is gone. So Hyper and I are going to go over if I can actually make it onto the ship. We've got two players on each of the pads. Uh, yeah, come on. Get on there. So we're going to go across. And then you have the same thing on the other side. So pretty simple stuff. You've got two pads on the other side 
that's uh, once Hyper and I get through, uh, you know, if this was a shield, we could just basically get pushed off the ship. Hyper and I get through, we go on our pads, we disable the shield, and the rest of the players can come across. So uh, here we are on our side. We're going to do the same thing for those players that they did for us. There's my platform. Hyper is on the far side or far end. And we'll see that there he goes. We'll see the shield drop down and those guys can now come across for the remaining players. So you really only need uh, three players. No, four players. You got to have four players for this section. So I don't think anyone's going to do the King's Raid solo. I'm just saying. Um, and I think four player minimum. I mean, you might be able to do it with four players, but uh, I don't know. At least so far for what we've seen up until this point. Anyways, guys, we'll be back with more for the King's Fall Raid very soon. Spider out!